How X-ray and gamma-ray photons interact with matter Photons are electromagnetic radiations with electrical charge, zero. As they are electrically neutral, they do not have an electric field to do Coulombic interaction, as charged particle like electron, positron, proton or alpha particles do. Charged particles can interact from far distances, due to their electric fields. Photons transfer energy to matter while, interacting with atom or atomic electron or nucleus in following methods. Rayleigh scattering Photoelectric absorption Compton scattering Pair production Photonuclear disintegration Let's come to the table for comparison. In Rayleigh scattering, X-ray or gamma-ray photon interacts with the whole atom. In photoelectric effect, photon interacts with bound electron. What is a bound electron? Bound electron is an orbital electron of an atom whose binding energy is, equal or slightly below the photon energy. At higher photon energy compared to binding energy of electron, photoelectric effect do occur but probability is lesser. Photon interacts with a free electron in case of Compton effect. So what is a free electron? No electron is free inside atom. But we say it free when, the binding energy of photon is negligibly small or very very less than photon energy. Free electron can be any electron inside an atom with the criterion, that binding energy is very very less than photon energy. In pair production, photon interacts with Coulombic field of nucleus. Nucleus of any atom is positively charged. And photon interacts with electric field of nucleus not with nuclear field of nucleus. So pair production occurs outside nucleus. Photons escapes interaction in above ways and interacts with atomic nucleus in case of photodisintegration. What does happen to the photon on interaction? It is totally absorbed in all types of interactions, except, Compton effect, where it is partially absorbed, by an electron. How does it interact? As a wave, or a particle? Rayleigh scattering, can be described as an interaction between, X-ray or gamma-ray as a wave and, atom as a dipole. That is wave nature of electromagnetic radiation. All other types of interactions, can be described as particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. That means X-ray and gamma rays are discrete energy packets not as continuous wave. Photon energy requirements, in different interactions. Rayleigh scattering, has no specific energy requirement, it can occur at any energy. Photoelectric effect has a threshold energy below which no photoelectric effect occurs. And the threshold energy is the binding energy of the concerned orbital electron. As you know, the binding energy of different electrons inside an atom are different, if not present in same energy state and also different for different atoms too. So, photoelectric threshold can be different for different orbital electrons or orbital electrons in different atoms. Compton effect occurs when photon energy is very very higher than orbital electron. Pair production has a threshold of 1.022 mega electron volts. Nuclear binding energy of a proton or neutron is million times, more than binding energy of electrons. 
so, in order to have a photodisintegration of a nucleon, one needs a photon with energy around 10 mega electron volts or more. Energy transformation or conversion X-ray and gamma ray are forms of electromagnetic energy. Upon interaction with matter, it may change to other forms of energy. In Rayleigh scattering, there is no change in energy due to interaction with atom. In photoelectric effect, part of electromagnetic energy is used to raise the potential energy of electron to zero from negative energy. And rest of electromagnetic energy operates as kinetic energy of photoelectron. Electromagnetic energy is converted to potential energy and kinetic energy. Similarly in Compton effect, part of electromagnetic energy is used to raise the potential energy of orbital electron to zero, thereby making it free from atom. Remaining electromagnetic energy appears as kinetic energy of Compton electron along with a scattered electromagnetic photon with lower energy. So, electromagnetic energy is converted to potential energy and kinetic energy and electromagnetic energy of higher wavelength. In pair production, firstly 1.022 MeV of total energy is converted to rest mass of an electron and a positron. Rest of energy is shared as kinetic energy of those, electron and positron. So, electromagnetic energy is converted to rest mass energy and kinetic energy. In photodisintegration, part of M energy is used to overcome the nuclear binding energy of the nucleon. Whole or part of remaining energy may appear as kinetic energy of the nucleon. Some energy may remain as excitation energy of the nucleus and the nucleus may de-excite by gamma emission. So, electromagnetic energy is converted to potential energy and kinetic energy. What does happen to, atom or electron or nucleus, following these interactions? No change occurs, to the atom in Rayleigh scattering. In photoelectric effect, energy is transferred to the photoelectron, may be lost in the medium through multiple excitation, ionization, and radiative losses. After losing kinetic energy, the photoelectron will be absorbed by an atom in the medium. Inner orbital electron removal, by photoelectric effect will lead to, electronic transition or electron jump from outer shell to inner. An energy equal to difference of outer shell and inner shell energy, will be released in the form of, characteristic X-ray. An auger electron, may be emitted from the atom as an alternate to, characteristic X-ray. The energy difference between outer and inner energy state may be transferred to, an orbital electron, and the orbital electron is emitted in place of, characteristic X-ray. Similar energy transfer, to electron and characteristic X-ray emission, can happen inside atom undergoing Compton effect. Nucleus acquires some momentum in pair production. In photodisintegration, energy is transferred to nucleons or nuclear fragments, and these particles can interact in the medium and do ionization, excitation. The daughter nuclei may become radioactive after photodisintegration. Except Rayleigh scattering, the medium is ionized in all other types of interactions. Probability of Compton scattering is independent of atomic number. Probability of all other types of interactions, increases with atomic number. Probability of interaction decreases with photon energy, except in pair production, probability increases, with energy. Rayleigh scattering contribute to nearly 5%, of whole interaction in diagnostic range. Occurrence of photoelectric effect is more than Compton effect below. 20 kilo electron volts in soft tissues, and lesser beyond 20 kilo electron volts. Compton effect is the dominant interaction type in normal diagnostic range. Pair production and photodisintegration do not occur in diagnostic range. Please do subscribe, keep all notification on for updates.